Incredible pictures emerge out of those western wildfires. Firefighters are battling 60 wildfires in 13 states. The largest, the Car Fire, has scorched nearly 100,000 acres. That's nearly three times the size of Norfolk. The flames have forced almost 40,000 people from their homes. Some of them are now returning to find utter devastation. Among them, Reading Police Chief Roger Moore, his home of 19 years gone. Your kids live their entire lives in this house. It's that part stuff. Haven't really let that digest in yet. At least six people have died and fire officials warn that number will rise among the dead four firefighters killed in the line of duty. There are glimmers of hope. People from all over the country are helping out. That includes a group of chefs from Portsmouth who just arrived in Shasta County. They're helping feed evacuees and volunteers. They're called Mercy Chefs. It's a nonprofit that has been going into disaster zones for more than a decade. 13 News Now reporter Robert Boyd has the story you'll see only new tonight. It is the last thing they think of at night and the first thing they think of in the morning and it's on their mind all day long. And Chef Gary LeBlanc will cook meals for thousands of evacuees over the next several days. He says it's times like these that food does much more than just fill an appetite. Well we always say that something amazing happens over a shared meal. So for us to do a high quality meal and be able to sit down with somebody that potentially has lost everything and just try to create a moment of normalcy is so important. LeBlanc said it's important that these survivors not only get fed, but get fed right. Well, one of our hallmarks is not doing just mass food. We do handcrafted chef prepared food, but we're able to do that for uh, up to 16, 18,000 people a day. Working inside a local church, Mercy Chefs will serve about 150 volunteers Monday night and prep meals for another 3,000 evacuees in shelters on Tuesday. And there are 40,000 people that have been evacuated, and a great number of them are in shelters. Uh, so there's, there's a great deal of shelter feeding that has to go on. These chefs plan to be in the kitchen 12 hours a day, every day, for the next week, maybe longer. We're going to stay until there's not a need. We always promise people when we get on site that we won't leave in the middle of the night, and we won't leave until we've taken care of what needs to be done. LeBlanc founded Mercy Chefs in 2006 after Hurricane Katrina devastated his hometown of New Orleans. He said evacuees deserve to be fed better than the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that he saw. So tonight we're doing chicken cacciatore. Uh, we have um, baked potatoes that are going out with that. And we're doing a fresh vegetable medley. And we have cake with a uh, sour cream icing. Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.